God bless America. Let's look at some American heroes from the Old West. It's July 4th, and I bet you thought I was going to look at action figures based on Independence Day, that movie. No, that would be hack. We're going to look at the Founding Fathers, Old West action figures. We're going to dig into this and see what made America great, ones that changed the country. I don't know they were fun to play with, but back in 1994, Yep, kids got to play with the Founding Fathers. They were Indians. They were cowboys. They were even a black action figure. I know, it's crazy to think they released that in 1994. It probably was controversial. So let's dig into these action figures while we celebrate July 4th! Right there, going to add a bunch of effects and everything. I don't know, maybe I got lazy or maybe the effects didn't work. So who knows, it might have been a bunch of cool stuff or it might have been a middle-aged fat guy saying, Buh, who knows. Well, let's dig into these figures and let's celebrate July 4th. And we're going to start right here with probably the man that signed the decoration pendants at the top. The most popular name on that sheep, Buffalo Bill. Buffalo Bill Cody right here. Look at him. Doesn't come with a horse, but he could have because he's one of our founding fathers. Comes with a cowboy hat that you can put on and take off. Now as the saying goes, the only good cowboy without a hat is a cowboy buried at Tombstone. I don't know exactly what that means, but that's what they say. And this one also comes with a holster so he can put his all-American six-shooter in. And it comes with a shotgun also. Never know when you might have to take out some redskins. There you go, right there, Buffalo Bill, founder of America. Let's look at another one. Oh, how about this one right here? Jesse James. He was always robbing from the rich and giving to the poor. If that's not an American hero, I don't know what is. That's what America's founded on. The government does it every day. They rob from us, give it to the rich. That is America. And there we go, he has a cowboy hat and a big red scarf. You can't say. See, even back during the Founding Fathers Day, we weren't ashamed of gay white men. Nope, there we go, Jesse James, the first Founding Father gay white man. And before you say Jesse James wasn't gay, he was a cowboy. Well, he had a big old red bow, so uh, to me, and that makes you gay. Not that there's anything wrong with it, because we're celebrating all kinds of people here. And he even comes with a holster and a gun to put his all-American six-shooter in. And here's a fun fact, that all-American six-shooter that Jesse James had was a Ruger. 9 millimeter. Oh, he's going to have a lot of fun. Look at those blue jeans. I bet them are Wranglers. Because the Founding Fathers wore Wranglers. Any real-blooded American wears Wranglers. And we, who else do we have? And then we have, oh, Wild Bill Heacock. Mm -hmm, there he is. He, now this is a man. He's dressed like George Lucas, but he's still a great American. Uh, Wild Bill Heacock. Even comes with his six-shooter, which in this case is the M16. Oh, what a great founding father. It comes with cowboy boots also. Now you can reenact the signing of the Declaration of Independence on July 4th with this Wild Bill Heacock action figure. Oh, it's going to be a lot of fun. Let's see what next week. We got a dang engine. An engine. Now, now you might say that's not PC. They're called Indians. Well, when I was a kid or my grandpa was a kid, he called them engines. And then we called them Indians, and then they said they're not Indians anymore. Now they're uh, indigenous people. I can't even say that. And then they said, no, they're not that anymore. Now they're Native Americans. I, I don't know what to keep up with. I just call them Redskins, or I call them an engine. Sounds like everything else seems offensive. But there we go. Who is it? Geronimo. Geronimo. Man, I thought that was something to yell when you were on fire. Geronimo! Hmm. Could be wrong about that. Didn't he hang out with a Long Ranger? I think so. Long Ranger and Geronimo. And what's he come with now? Let's see here. Oh, he comes with a pretty little dress. You know, those Native Americans. And he comes with a bunch of feathers to put on his hat. I guess in case he wants to fly away. And he comes with an axe so he can scalp the white man. Yeah, you gotta get your axe to scalp the hair off a white man. And he comes with a little dagger also. In case you see a pregnant white lady, you can cut the belly out. Oh, man. Oh, Geronimo. He's probably got a push-button action that says something like, The white man's still in my country. Well, learn to fight. Wouldn't have took your country if you knew how to fight. Uh, let's move on here, too. Oh, man, it's another Redskin, another engine, another offensive action figure of Staring Bill. 
Now that's a white man name if I ever heard one. A white man gave him that name. White man probably saw him staring at his wife and was like, Hey, Staring Bill, put your eyes back in your socket. Hey, Staring Bill, quit staring at my woman and put your hatchet back in your pants. I want you to go sit down. For now on, you're sitting, Bill. But you're a lot better than your cousin. Peeping Tom Larry. Oh, Peeping Tom Larry. He would poke his head in your tent, just look at you all creepy like. Oh, what's he come with? Looks like he comes with a drum set. I'm an engine, I'm an engine. Oh, he comes with some feathers to put in his hat. Oh, my feather man. And he comes with a bow and arrow. Because nothing found this country more than a bow and arrow. You want to know why you lost your land? Because you had a bow and arrow. Wow, Will Bill Heacock had a shotgun and a machine gun. He running around with a bow and arrow. I guess the 1900s or something. And then we have last... The only black cowboy I know of, and he once, he once shot a man just for snoring. That's some serious business. Wild Earp. Wild Earp right here. He's got a little scar. I like his acid wash jeans. Look like he's straight out of the 80s. This guy was fashion before fashion was cool. Comes with a gun. Comes with a holster, a belt, a cowboy hat. And look at that. Comes with a shotgun. You know why? So you can take that shotgun and shoot all the whiteys I see. I'm going to mirror that song. I'm going to get a shotgun and shoot all the whiteys I see. It's July 4th. Get yourself a shotgun and shoot all the whiteys you see. Oh, this should be really good. But he has white hands. I don't know why he has white hands. Huh. But that's a look. That's a look at the Founding Fathers action figures on July 4th. You can take them. You can recreate all you want. This time you can have the Indians win. Yeah. Maybe you can give them a gun or something to fight with. Instead of trying to fight with rocks and arrows. So what does July 4th mean to me? It means I can make fun of the blue-eyed white devils, the red-skinned Indians, and even the black cowboys. A black cowboy? I never thought I'd live to see the day. Well, let me know what America means to you, and hopefully, hopefully, on this Independence Day, I, I insulted and upset somebody. He kicks ass, runs gas. He drives a 65 T-Bird that runs so fast He eats blue all chip Drinks what you got on draft He's got a pickup truck He loves to And if you need a woman He can fix you up He's an all-American red But he's got Hey, Jumpman yeah. Channel popping though. Thank you, sir, for that unsolicited testimony.